Hello there everyone and welcome. My name is Melissa Armo and I thought I would review Google. This was a nice option call that I made a couple of days ago. It was Thursday. And Google has taken its good old fashioned time to recover from the failed earnings. So let's just go back here. 725 was the last earnings report for Google and it gapped down. Really didn't affect the stock overall and the overall trend. Google has been very strong. Was a little surprised that happened. It's neither here nor there, it did, but the stock took a long time to recover because really from July, July 25th, we didn't get over this area till just in the last week. So it took from July to October for the stock to really set up again and determine that in fact it would move higher, which it did, and it is. So the previous high here was 988.25. Yeah, that was the that was the recent high here, which wasn't that long ago. It was June, and we got up to Friday nine seventy nine forty six. The thing I find interesting about this is that the market's been so strong and Google has lagged, but it never really broke. So finally, it's making the move. It's continuing. Called a nice option in this on Thursday, which it was only out actually for basically a week. Uh, this coming Friday, October 13th. But anyways, it immediately went through, saw it was going to go, ran up, strike is 980, and this should continue higher and make new highs this coming week. I mean, I can't see how it doesn't unless something drastic happens in the market, but it looks like it's just headed right there. So very, very nice move. However, if you just decided to do it as a one-day trade, you could have bought the call that I did for the option in the option letter on Thursday and sold it Friday. And that's it. I've just been out. Again, when you're determining targets on things, you have to look at the chart. You also have to look at the price of the option. So this trade you could have bought at a cost of $4. So for example, one contract would have cost you 400 bucks and you could have sold it. That would have been Thursday. You could have sold it Friday and made 420 bucks. So that's more than 100% return on investment in one day. That's a good trade. Kind of hard not to get out with profit with something like that. And if you had bought 10 contracts of the 980 calls, you could have bought it Thursday, paid $4, which would have been four grand, and sold it Friday and made 4,200. That's a, that's a nice, nice, nice return on investment within less than 24 hour period, basically. So, you know, you can't look a gift horse in the mouth. Right now, it's not earnings season yet. We're just starting that this week. This has had a nice move, Google. Thursday and Friday with the market, it finally, finally, finally looks good again. It never looked bad, but it really wasn't doing anything to make you want to go long the stock, I guess, in the last couple of months since the earnings failure. So in this case here, Google is strong, 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 and we'll see where it goes in the next week. And we'll see what our, uh, the Google earnings do in, in this next quarter, in the last quarter of the year. And I'll be watching it, but that's a long way away from now. So congratulations to everyone that did the Google. If you're still in it, gotta watch it. Gotta watch it with the market, time your exit correctly, and this still looks higher. Congratulations to everyone that did it, and if you're interested in learning more information, you can email me at melissa at thestockswish.com. My Golden Gap course is next weekend, October 14th and 15th. Have a great day, everyone.